Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Casper, the boy diviner, and today I wanted to show you my deck haul. So I have many decks coming and I was waiting and waiting and waiting. All of them were kind of scheduled for February, March, April, so on. Was never sure when they were coming and they were all not coming on time. I guess it's the pandemic. I guess there is blockers along the way. But finally, I've received quite a significant amount. I'm still waiting for two actually. Lubanko Tarot and the Blood Moon Tarot. I think they still have a few niggles here and there. But uh, I received four decks already and I feel a bit overwhelmed this week because I received it all in the same week. Today, I just wanted to show you the four decks that I have. Uh, one more extra piece of thing, um, divinatory stuff. And then I will talk about yeah, I'll just talk about my haul and how overwhelmed I feel. Yeah, and how it's been making me rethink about how I want to buy decks. So maybe I'll start off with the non-deck thing. Um, I think you have seen that many people actually go through the whole set that they have from James R. Eats. I just received my whole set recently. So I'm not going to go through an unboxing of that because everyone has done it already. Um, but I might be showing it one by one. Uh, I haven't decided yet. Probably not because so many people have done already done walkthroughs of them. Let me know if you're interested in hearing my take. But I just want to show you the geomantic visions. Before I received this, I've been studying the geomancy as well, so I'm quite excited because I actually memorized the figures already. So I'm excited to dig into this. There are a few ways to use these coins. Let me show you the coins. These are the coins. Beautiful. So this one, two, three, and four can be used to cast geomantic figures. You can either do that to cast the figures, or you can have a bag and then you just pick out one of the 16. So when you pick up one of the 16, that is the first mother. You put it back in, shake it up, pick out the second one, that's the second mother, and that's how you construct the whole chart. I will show you each coin one by one in a separate video, but I think I just want to show you this. It actually comes with a great book, uh, really simple starter to geomancy. So if you're interested, you know, this is pretty good. So along with the geomantic visions, I actually received the Prisma visions. So I, I have seen this Prisma vision since I started my tarot journey. It was a deck that I was really attracted to, but I wasn't sure about getting because the cardstock was pretty glossy at that time. Um, and I held back. It wasn't only that, it was like also how um, unformed some of the figures are. So even though I was a fan of the art, I wasn't sure if I'll be able to see the art clearly. Um, and that's why I didn't get it because it was glossy and I wasn't sure about the art. Then later he changed the cardstock and I thought the new cardstock was also a rose petal finish which was really hard to shuffle and that's why I also didn't get that version. Only when this deck came out, the Cosma Visions Tarot, uh, in the Kickstarter, they offered us to buy the Prisma Visions and they actually told us that they will use a different kind of cardstock, something matte and also slippy so it's easy to shuffle and that's when I thought maybe I should get it. The book that I was interested in about the Cosma Visions have two sides. One is the Cosma Visions, one is the Prisma Visions. So I thought it was a great time to actually just buckle down and get this deck. And I'm so pleasantly surprised, you know. The deck is beautiful and I forgot how beautiful it was. I, I only remember that I was attracted to it years ago but when I stopped revisiting it, I never thought about how you know, it could fit in my my whole um, tarot journey now. And so I never really considered it. Here are some of the sample cards. So beautiful. I really like that last, uh, that the High Priestess. Yeah, but this won't be a full walkthrough. I just want to quickly show you some of the cards to give you an idea about the, the deck. And I just, I'm really falling in love with this, this deck, just looking through it. And I haven't even worked with it yet. A part of me is interested and intrigued in my past lives, so I thought I could use this deck along with the Cosma Visions to understand it better. I got the Cosma Visions Oracle as well, and it's a very similar um, kind of style, which is on purpose, so I can easily use these cards together. How beautiful is it? I really enjoy um, the, the alchemical birds that he has. You know, the raven, the swan. Beautiful. I can't wait to actually work with this deck also. I just been keeping it in this order because I wasn't sure if I wanted to do a walkthrough and now I think I decided I won't. Uh, let me know if you want to see more and more of my thoughts or maybe I should actually use the, these decks first and then maybe do a proper review. I haven't done a proper review in a long time. It's something I could really consider. So with these two decks, I really feel a bit overwhelmed with the dramatic visions as well, thinking how to tackle this and how I want to start working with it. And then I received the Fuller Cost Tarot, which I couldn't help but order when I saw James Beanie put it up on sale. So this is a pre-love deck and I reordered it so it's in order and now that I received it, I'm not sure if I can work with it. I really don't know if I can. The cards are larger than I expected. Um, not a surprise. I mean, I already know it. Here's the backs. And some of the images are so 
Dark. I bought this primarily because of one card that I really am drawn to, which is the Tower card. I think anyone who sees the Tower card would be drawn to it. Um, but the Tower card is also my birth card, and that's why I, I felt like, you know, I felt like I wanted it. Look at the Tower card. How beautiful is that? This is really the Tower. This is really representative of Tower energy. And because of that card, I decided to get it. At the same time, I was worried about the pips because the pips are a bit different from the majors. And I am feeling that kind of resistance against the pips right now. So here are some pips for you to see. It's very sketchy. It is more um, simply drawn compared to the painterly majors and the painterly um, chords. The chords are more painterly as well. So. I'm not sure yet. I have not worked with it. I have really consecrated it and and like cleansed it and everything. But the sketchy nature of it, I'm I'm really not sure. I'm I'm not sure if I can work with this. But I've been drawn to it for a while, so I'm glad I just you know got it, and at least I got it at a cheaper price to test it out for real. The next one I got is actually the white fly tarot, and this came faster than I thought. I'll be doing a walkthrough of this really quickly. Right after this, I'll film one and publish it soon. So I won't be going through it, but it came faster than I expected. I didn't expect to get this so fast, even though he did say April. I thought it was unrealistic, honestly. And I will go through how I feel about it, how I feel about the cardstock and everything. But I really like this deck, even though I have some um, production nickels with it. It is a beautiful, beautiful deck, and I, I can't wait to work with it. And that's why I need to do that walkthrough ASAP. Oh, and there's one more oracle that I really wanted to do a walkthrough of soon, very, very soon. And it's the Abstract Heart Oracle. This is actually a Kickstarter deck right now, and I got a prototype version. So the actual version will have better um, printing, better card stock. So you, we can't really take this as how it's going to be. But um, it's a beautiful watercolor abstract deck, you know, with a keyword. So I will talk about this more as well soon. But I just wanted to quickly do this deck haul uh, and talk about uh, the decks I've received. The thing with pre-orders is that you buy it because you feel like your current collection needs something. Uh, you you want to try something new. And I think that's fair. But um, I think I didn't anticipate getting all of it at the same time because that's kind of overwhelming. Now I really need to try my best to plan time to work with each deck individually. Like I need to really think about it. Whereas last time I could just use the new one consistently because I have one new one at one time. Now I have four, and I don't know how I want to tackle because my assignment for all of them are all quite high. And I, I guess that's a problem. I didn't set any depth fear rules this year, and maybe that's why so far I'm having this small issue. I wouldn't say it's huge. I'm still very privileged. I'm still very lucky because I received decks for free. For example, the Abstract Heart Oracle was given to me to actually do a proper review. I also have the White Newman Tarot, which is amazing. I love it so much. I've been using it. And... That's my privilege. That I'm so blessed. At the same time, I don't know when I'm going to catch up with uh, these beautiful decks that I, I backed myself, you know, that I know I will enjoy. Uh, especially with the amount of work I have or the lack of time I have personally. I think there's a... I'm finding, I'm finding it hard to actually set aside time to work with everything individually and how I'm going to learn. Um, I used to journal for each deck. I used to write about what I feel and I stopped. And maybe it's time to go back to that kind of um, method again, but I I'm just curious how people actually um, handle this kind of feeling. So let me know if you actually have received many decks at once and then you don't know how to tackle it. I know some people do because, for example, I love Jen's Balanced Tarot and I'm always, when I see her hauls every month, I feel a bit overwhelmed because I, I don't know how I handle that. And this is one of the few times I actually feel like I do have a lot of new decks to get familiar with. and. It makes me happy, but it makes me feel slightly guilty and slightly stressed. And I know I shouldn't be feeling these things, but that's how my brain naturally goes to. Yeah, just let me know if you have any tips or any thoughts about how you will handle something like this. And I'll see you guys next time. This is a short video. I hope you guys still enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think. And you guys have a great rest of the day. You take care. Bye.